hi guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create a sign up form in google sites it is very easy and very simple all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over google sites and after that you're going simply to sign in within an account right there and also you're going to create the website or add that specific part to your website. You know that Google has many services and many apps that will help you uh, create or do a lot of tasks. And from these services or the apps, we have the Google Sites to create websites. Also, we have Google Forms to set up some forms. And now we are going to uh, here uh, create a Google Form to set up the sign up form but we are going to insert it into our sites on Google Sites. So we're going to select one of the websites on Google Sites. For example, we are going to select this Jack's uh, photography. We are going to enter the website. And as you can see here, this is an example website. So we are going to add uh, that form or how we can create it. We are going to head over here or scroll down until we see here insert here we have insert we are going to scroll down until we see forms so obviously within the form right there you are going to add it but unfortunately we cannot create the form from here so we are going to uh, open up the google form google then we are going to uh, type in here google form and we are going to open it so we need to check that we are going to open the Google Forms within the same account or that we have opened Google Sites. So we are going to go to Forms and see that this is we have the same favicon. Now we are going to create a sign up right there uh, form. So we have t-shirt sign up, we have everything, but we are going to create it from a blank. So we are going to set up here, uh, let's say sign up or something like here, subscription. I'm going to write it here, subscription, like that. And for, let's say here for, uh, let's say maybe newsletter or monthly, for example, newsletter. So we are going to uh, put here a, a form description. You, when you are going to sign up, for example, this is a sign up form, sign up. You are going to receive in your for example, inbox a monthly news letter. So now here we have the first question, which is going to be here email. So here we have made it as required. We are going to select here a short answer. Now we are going to add maybe some questions that we can go ahead and need that for. And we are going to set up, for example, something like here, I'm going to put this in bold. Now the second question is going to be here. Um, what, for example, type of, uh, let's say here, uh, product maybe, or news that you want in your newsletter, for example. We're going to put a question mark. Go ahead and put it as bold. Here we are going to put here tech. Let's go ahead to the second option, uh, global news phones, for example. Here we are going to set up here clothes and etc. So you can go ahead and put uh, the uh, fifth option or let it as it is. So we are going to set it as a required. Now we are going to add another question, which is going to be here with uh, bold also, bold uh, here uh, font. So let's think of a question like here, uh, uh, 
are you interested in buying for example let's say here buying maybe uh, accessories and that will help us right there uh, to get uh, the audience or an idea from the audience we're going to set up yes or no so if they say yes and we see the majority of yes we can go ahead and create a mini store and sell them some accessories now we are going to get the uh, send in here so collect email address yes we are going to put the responder input so as you can see here they have uh, set up the email so we are going to remove our case here so we are going to click on send again now we are going to see that it is normally uh, here uh, set up so we have the title when you click on the entitled uh, form you are going to get your uh, right there uh, form so normally it is here now back to the Jax website so we are going to select form and it will load up here the subscription or the sign up form so we are going to select it and as you can see it is going to be here insert it automatically so this is the form for the sign up form. So this is it. Uh, this is our email that we have used. This is just a uh, email that we have made for the sake of the video and nothing else. So it is a testing email. You can go ahead and set them like that. They can go ahead and type their email, choose one of the questions. They are going to click on submit and they have created their sign up form. You can do this form or integrate it, this form or there for multiple websites as long as you have uh, right there the same account of your Google account. So you can integrate it. Uh, for example, this one, I'm going to select another website. From here, we are going to head over forms and here we have the subscription form. You can go ahead and also uh, add another a subscription or a sign up form instead of Google or uh, right there uh, forms you can go ahead and search on Google for example and sign up form to embed for example and then you can go ahead and see that we have a lot of uh, right there as you can see suggestions we have to we, we can see that we have Clavio, MailChimp, MailerLite, and etc. JotForm, and a lot, and also a lot. You can also use Elfsight to use these and collect the emails for marketing purposes. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and hope to see you soon on the next one.